Hello Universe. Welcome to the world of Angelina Jordan. As promised, we're doing the unedited, complete interview with Egil Klausen today. Okay, boys, let it roll. Thank you ever so much for doing this, for speaking with me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Because it's, it's not only my appreciation, but it's appreciation of thousands and thousands of Angelina Jordan fans around the world um, that you have agreed to be able to do this. I, I really appreciate this. My pleasure. Good, good, good. Now, um, <clears throat> I want absolutely no surprises for you, and I don't want any awkward moments, and I do not wish to violate anyone's privacy. This is not uh, the direction that I wish to come from. But um, you have seen the video that I've made uh, about yourself, yep. and I would like to go through it and just fill it in more and for you to speak about uh, all of the moments that I have included. We can do that. Okay. Now, the um, the, the first piece that, that I showed was um, what what a difference a day makes. And she was uh, Angelina was eight years old then, and um, you were making her laugh, and you were moving your head uh, greatly, and um, <laughs> exactly. And um, can you tell me what you remember about that song or that moment or about that occasion? Uh, yeah, uh, what a difference they make was one of the first songs we, we did together. And um, uh, in that clip that you, you have in the video, uh, we had uh, asked a friend of mine that I've worked with for many years to, to join uh, because we were going to do that uh, show in uh, Olesen. Also, we recorded some Christmas song, I remember in that same session. Um, yeah, so it was uh, nice. I think it was maybe the third or four times Angelina visited my studio. Um, and it was uh, always uh, a good vibe having her in the studio. Yes, the, the good vibe between the two of you is something which is absolutely delightful. And I wanted to highlight that. In, in the video because um, <clears throat> it, it just makes it so personal and so rich. And, you know, I, I take my hat off to you for, for doing that. It, it's, it's delightful to see. It's really delightful to see that. Now, it's nice. the, the second uh, clip that I played was um, from the Brilliant Minds concert. And it was when the two of you did um, When We Were Young and um, Angelina Jordan um, and you, you, you have a laugh together and then she breaks into a very, very uh, serious and very, very um, a wonderful song. Do you remember that moment? Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's uh, when uh, me and Angelina uh, are um, meeting up, if it's a gig or uh, just to, to record some uh, videos for her YouTube channel, we, uh, we never uh, uh, plan anything, so uh, we just play back and forth. Uh, do you know that song? Do you know that song? And uh, so, uh, what what is recorded is is very. It's always very raw, and you know, a lot of musicians are, uh, uh, or the engineers in the studio always record a first take, and the first take can always. Uh, not always, but sometimes be kind of magical because there's um, you have a lot of tension going on and uh, you want to to do your best. You're very focused, and um, but of course, in many occasions, you don't. Maybe uh, there's a song that I've just heard many years ago, and I don't know it really. But you just try to to. Uh, to do your best and uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, in some of the clips you hear that uh, maybe I play a wrong chord or Angelina uh, drops out of the lyrics, but it's uh, it's most mostly for fun and you know, for, for Angelina being a, a, a young uh, girl, 
it's important that that we keep that uh, fun aspect of, of, of working together. And, <clears throat> It's wonderful that not only are the first clips included, but all the mistakes are included because that makes you and Angelina very, very human and very personal. And the fact that these have not been edited out is a credit to Angelina and her family and just the whole image. You know, I, I think that's wonderful. And many, many people would say that. Uh, it's just totally wonderful that. Yeah, I think that the talent uh, comes through anyway. You can uh, you can go to a nice studio and get the perfect sound, and uh, you can uh, get the perfect uh, images and video clips, and edit them and make everything look and sound perfect. But uh, the talent will will uh, get through anyway. So. Uh, yeah, but it, it, yeah. it's the human factor which comes over yeah. with Angelina, which is one of the reasons why her fans are just um, so close to her because she is so human and she feels so accessible. You know, that's yeah, really definitely. Yeah, definitely. The, the, the third um, clip that I show is um, an Instagram clip. And uh, I think it's just probably my favorite clip where you're playing the piano, uh, you're playing the banjo and she is skipping, yeah. jumping and running behind you. You remember that moment as well, do you? Yeah, but I've never seen the, the clip before. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I uh, we were playing uh, a show in Bergen uh, on the west coast of Norway. And uh, I actually bought the banjo at the airport in, in Bergen just as we landed. I met up with a guy that I uh, talked to and, and I bought that banjo and uh, it was not included in the in the show we did, but uh, yeah, I was, of course, I wanted to, to play it uh, as much as possible. <laughs> so, uh, but it was a funny clip. You, you surprised me because you seem very, very skilled with the banjo. And for me, for you to say that you've just picked it up is a, a big surprise for me because, you know, you, you seem like a very skilled banjo player. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, the, um, the, the next clip where the two of you are having a wonderful time is a very famous clip, and it's the end of the uh, Titanium video, where um, uh, in the clip that I show, I said, um, with head banging. And you yeah. know, you're going like that. And, um, then at the, and then Angelina cannot control her giggling. And that, then in the end, that, uh, you just say in Norwegian, um, uh, I'm, I'm just rocking. Yeah, uh, it's um, it's a habit that I have that I just uh, you know I, I go into the let me just uh, are you there? Yeah, yeah I'm here. perfect. Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's a habit that I, that I have that I just I just uh, go into this um, this place where I forget everything and uh, Do everyone. Do not make excuses for this wonderful <laughs> habit. You should uh, glorify in this habit. This is a wonderful habit, a wonderful yeah. habit. <clears throat> and in the in the lack of a, a, a drummer, you have to to keep your uh, the tempo. And uh, I, I use my my body. I use my head. I it, it's the way I, I play, and uh, I I'm not. Uh, um, what is the word? I'm not uh, like embarrassed over that. It's just, uh, yeah, I go into the music. No, it's it's great. It's great. And and um, a couple of other clips, which we'll talk about in a minute. You you sway and you move. And um, one of the things w w which I say is <clears throat> how lucky you are to be an audience of one with Angelina. Because all her, her fans, even through the internet, when they hear, uh, they are moved very, very strongly emotionally. But none of her fans can imagine being in a room and having a concert where you are the only one in the audience. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, the, the um, one, one thing which <clears throat> fascinates me and fascinates all of her fans is the fact that um, a lot of people consider Angelina Jordan totally unique and there's no one like her because they have an emotional reaction to her and they completely do not understand why they react so emotionally every time and they don't do this with anyone else. Um, 
what I'm describing, is this something that you've heard before or is this something new to you, uh, the way I describe this? Hello? Sorry, Alan, my, my connection rather got lost. So just to repeat the question one more time. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, a, a lot of her fans had this very, very strong emotional reaction to her and they have tears or goosebumps every time, even if they've heard the song five or 10 or 15 times. Now, um, is this something um, that you have heard before or is this new to you? And do you have any idea of why this happens because for many, many of her fans, it's a mystery and they do not understand it at all. And I was wondering from your um, perspective, from your understanding of music and everything, if you have any idea of, of what, what is going on. That's the magic of music. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I believe that it's a combination of um, she does a lot of uh, uh, songs that maybe people have a uh, uh, um, connection with from their youth. And she's, yeah. uh, her magical voice, her way of uh, in, uh, singing the song, she puts a lot of herself in it. At the same time, there's, uh, you can hear uh, a lot of uh, her influences in her voice. And uh, I think it's it's just a, a magical combination of her um, of her voice, and, uh, and of course her pick of songs. Yeah. Um, the the next clip that I show is when you and Angeline are performing for the prime minister. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you remember that moment. Yes. Yeah, it was our first uh, first gig together. Yes. And um, I'm sure it was well received. Yeah, very. <laughs> um, <clears throat> how did you and Angelina uh, originally hook up? Um, I got a, a message from her manager and I think that um, uh, I was recommended by someone. I don't know who, but, um, or I don't recall, but, uh, yeah, I got a message, and uh, they wanted to to me to join to do just that that gig with the prime minister. Mm. So um, we uh, had a, a short rehearsal in my studio uh, before that gig, and uh, we had a good time, and everyone enjoyed uh, each other's company. And uh, yeah, so we that mm. was the beginning. I, I must say, Agil, that um, in preparation for this interview, I've done some research, and the more research I've done, the more I realize you are quite a force in Norwegian music. I mean, you have um, a younger brother by the name of Morgan Thulili, and then you have um, contributions to um, Merit um, Larsen and Siri um, Nielsen, and you know, you you really have your finger in many pies in Norwegian music. Yeah, I've done. Uh, I've been uh, playing professionally for uh, nearly twenty years now. Yeah, yeah. So um, Angelina has been one of of many projects, but of course, a very special one for me. Yeah, yeah. So um, <clears throat> it, it's funny how I came to discover her because I actually uh, discovered Secret from Allison uh, before yeah. I discovered Angelina. And um, then I just came across Angelina. But you know, Angelina to me is like the sun coming out uh, and, um, and, and hiding the moon. And it just completely um, uh, dominates the whole day. Um, after I, we, we showed the prime minister um, moment, I then showed um, you and Angelina performing in a mall in Allison. Do you remember that moment? Yeah, I remember it. It was uh, just uh, we flew in and did the show and flew back. Uh, I, I think this was in the almost uh, around Christmas time. Yeah. 
So, and, and I remember we, we, uh, we did another gig, um, I, maybe the same day. I, it, was, it was just like a kind of hectic day, I remember. <laughs> and uh, uh, so, um, yeah, but it was uh, also, um, when you do the shopping malls, it's always a lot of people, a lot of people who want to do uh, selfies and get autographs. And I remember the security wasn't the best. <laughs> so, um, okay. so we all uh, did our best to, to, uh, to get out of the shopping mall after the performance to, <laughs> to catch our flight back to Oslo. So a, a pretty hectic uh, day. But, but uh, um, from what I understand that in the beginning of a career, especially with the child singer, you, you do a lot of shopping malls. Yeah, usually uh, that's uh, a way to go uh, when you're promoting uh, yourself as an artist. But uh, Angelina kind of skip that part because uh, after Norwegian got talent she she was already at the stage where she she could uh, do the um, bigger venues and uh, and it took some time before she released uh, her own uh, material so and that is also a, a big uh, part of doing those uh, shopping malls gigs is because you have something to promote a uh, release or yeah, yeah. and she didn't have that so so we didn't do much of them but um yeah i think olsen is the only one okay <clears throat> the um the, the south korea concerts that you did together with i'm sure you remember that one very well it was yeah. a nice one <laughs> it's it's quite um quite exciting to be able to tour the world in a situation like that. Now, the, the clip I actually show, you and her are doing a Bang Bang together. Um, I'm sure you remember that song and, and that moment. The, the crowd are, are a little bit noisy um, in, in South Korea. Yeah, it was a, it was a huge festival. And um, if you're doing a uh, unplugged uh, gig at a, at a big festival it's uh, it's kind of risky business because uh, people are there to to have fun and to maybe have some drinks and yeah. sing along and so uh, doing only guitar and voice is uh, it's a risky business but um, it, it worked out fine uh, we she did a couple of songs using a backing track as well to to make the set a little bit more uh, uh, up tempo, uh, and we did uh, some uh, some versions of some songs we hadn't done before. So, and I think from from my point of view, the the audience was uh, was very nice. They were. Uh, it's not easy to to be quiet for a uh, half an hour, forty five minutes when you're out with your friends in the in an open air festival drinking beer. <laughs> she she comes over as being very professional even then, um, and she, you know she handles all situations really well. You know she's uh, very composed um, in a situation like that. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, the, the next two clips, which, which I show, um, I believe are in your studio, and um, I describe them both because you are swaying to the, um, the, the music as you're playing. The first one is um, Can't Help Falling In Love With You. Do you remember yeah. that song in that moment? Definitely. It was, um, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we, we don't... Uh, necessarily plan anything so uh so uh, she we just plan that she's coming in we we are going to record some songs and the songs is just uh planned when we're there uh, of course i know the song from before and uh and yeah i think that was the first or the second take we we 
rarely do more than two takes yeah even though yeah. we haven't played the song together uh so uh it turned out very nice yeah didn't it i i thought so too and then the next one you did was crazy yeah that song i didn't know uh that well uh but um it's of course a, a, a very famous song. Um, also, a, a wonderful uh, vocal performance by Angelina. Uh, so uh, I usually just I just listen to her and and I follow her wherever she goes, her tempo, sh her her feel. Uh, it's important to let let her uh, be uh, be in charge. There's a moment, uh, I just have a 10 second clip of that song. There's a moment where she just pauses between words, which just makes it so rich when she sings that, um, that line. You know, it, it just, it's all the little details which just make everything so rich. Yeah. Um, and then I have a clip of a, a relatively obscure song, It Ain't Me. Uh, I believe this was recorded in Moscow, yes? Yeah. Um, I think the song was uh, just released. It's a uh, Kigo Selena Gomez song, yeah. and um, but it, it has a very uh, distinctive uh, guitar uh, kind of country part, and I I like that. So I think I just started playing that, and she just started singing and. Uh, her, um, someone from the team started uh, filming it and uh, it, was just, <laughs> it was just there. It was that spontaneous. It was that yeah. spontaneous. Because yeah. when, I, when I first heard that, I mean, to me, it sounds almost more like a folk song, almost like a Bob Dylan song. Yeah. And, uh, and it, it is, uh, if you strip it down, it's just uh, the, the production with the uh, drums that makes it a pop song. <laughs> if you enough. take that away, it's a country song. <laughs> it's amazing how you, the different uh, facets of a diamond, depending upon uh, how you're looking at it. Yeah. Uh, the next clip I play is um, uh, the Whitney Houston, um, I Will Always Love You. And, um, you know, she, she does Whitney Houston ever so well. Uh, I'm sure you remember that song as well. Yeah uh that song was was a really really big song in in uh, norway during the 90s i think 94 95 somewhere around that maybe earlier and uh yeah i i, I haven't heard her verse in, in many many years i have heard uh dolly parton's version a couple of times uh in the, the past few years um and she wanted to sing that and i was of course it's uh it's a pretty straightforward song let's do it and uh that is also just uh the first and only take we we, we did <clears throat> she, yeah it's um i mean there's so many reasons why i'm i'm so imp impressed with everything that she does um the the, the last two that i have are both um again, from the Brilliant Minds concert. Um, she's uh, wearing her, her blue outfit and um, she does all of me, the Billie Holiday uh, version. And um, I think this is probably one of my favorite clips from this whole video because the way she does the, the, her voice, and you remember that song, you remember that version, don't you? Yeah, and All of Me is, is one of my favorite standard jazz songs. Yeah. I think I think I, I um, requested uh, to do do that song uh, when we uh, were warming up for the show, and uh, it's kind of unique that you can you can just uh, ask. Uh, I think Angelina was eleven or twelve years old. Ask an eleven or twelve year old girl to to sing a jazz standard. Uh, and she's just, yeah, I know that song. And we did it. And uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, uh, 
it, it, it's the, the way she holds on to some of the words and, and individual words, how much feeling she could put into it, it, especially with that version, especially with that version. Yeah. And uh, she has a, a, a great, great ear. And, and uh, of course, that song has been done by many great, great vocalists, yeah. uh, singers. And uh, I think uh, she she adapts the things she she likes from every version, and then she adds a big portion of uh, her own uh, soul in it. And I know. I mean, the the, the the phenomenon that she is. So many people think that almost everything she touches, she does better than the original, and and that's one of the reasons she has so many very very devoted fans because no one can understand how she can do that. Me neither. <laughs> oh, okay, good. The last but not least, at the Brilliant Minds, um, in June of 2019, you and her do Bohemian Rhapsody. And yeah. I'm, I'm sure you remember that one. Yeah, or actually, I didn't remember until I uh, saw the clip in the video, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was... Um, uh, also, just something happened there. I don't know if I, I played the the like the intro or if she asked me if I knew the song or whatever. But uh, it was very spontaneous, and um, we I I don't I can't say that with a hundred percent certainty, but I, I don't think she had it, ever planned anything for the. Uh, uh, America's, America's Got Talent show yet. It was just a song that she had recently discovered uh, because that that is usually the case that she discovers a song and then she wanna wanna sing it. Mm. Um, yeah, so we did a a, a short version of that, uh, and uh, she sings it very very good. So. Uh, <clears throat> So really, would have been proud. So really, you and her had no idea that um, that song would develop um, over the next few months, the way. It's, it's no. amazing. Just to totally amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> Adil, um, what, um, <clears throat> what uh, are you coming up next with your own career? Um, do you have any uh, exciting projects coming up for yourself? I am... Uh... Now in these uh, strange times that uh, it's very uh, little uh, live shows going on, we uh, I am uh, using a lot of spending a lot of time in the studio, and I've written a lot of songs and <clears throat> yeah with different artists. So there are some songs coming out starting this month and uh on different with different uh, artists on different records so um really excited about that so that's what i do now is studio work mm. um writing producing so uh i think uh, at least uh, for another six months that's the the reality for for my uh my every day and then uh, hopefully I can do more live shows again. I have a lot of shows uh, in August and September mm. uh, that have been postponed from from last year. Yeah. So um, I hope uh, I hope the vaccine is uh, yeah. coming in uh, and everyone can can start going to shows and see each other again. Because considering Norway is a small country, it has a tremendous explosion of musical talent. I mean, um, you know, your brother, your brother has some um, videos that have 4 million views, which is more than the population of Norway. And uh, even though people don't understand Norwegian, he has an international following of people who just think, and his videos are so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like his videos. That's nice. Yeah, he has a, he has a great career going on, in, um, both as an artist and a songwriter. So uh, he um, 
me and him are very close and 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 see each other uh, almost every day and yeah I, so I think of you as an older brother to him but I also think of you as an older brother to Angelina <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah good that's, that's great that's great uh Adil, I really, really appreciate your time and your input and what you've done for Angelina's career. And I wish to express my appreciation by buying you a gift. And so uh, I have a friend in Oslo and um, I will write to him and he will write to you and he will, um, he will um, say to you when and where and how he, he wishes to get a bottle of whiskey for you. Is that all right with you? That's perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so <laughs> much. Much appreciated. I, I appreciate your time and energy. And um, what I will do next is <clears throat> I will incorporate this interview with the video that I previously made of you and I will merge them and I will send you the copy um, before I publish because I want your 100% uh, approval with everything that I do. Okay? That sounds very good. <laughs> Thank you, Ideal. And um, I will um, <clears throat> be on to you very, very quickly. <clears throat> Thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alan. Have a nice day. Cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye. -bye. Cheers. Bye.